Is anyone alive out there? Welcome back to Bill Paxton Pinball. Um, this is revision one of the wood board, which I guess would be revision two in all. And by all this mess of wiring, you can see I've actually got the solenoids wired up now. And that's the main solenoid connector. As you can see, I don't have all the solenoids wired up. I could hook up to 32 of them, but probably more like 16. Right now, there's like nine, I think. And here's the uh, connector for all the input. So when you actually pull the board out, you just have to unhook a couple connectors. Well, there can be like five of these, but you know it's better having to rewire a bunch of crap. So basically, what happens is that power supply back there sends 24 volts up through that connector to all the solenoids, and then the grounds from the solenoids come back down and try to go through the MOSFETs, which are right there. <laughs> you can barely see them. And the MOSFETs are controlled by the computer, which allows the solenoids to turn on and off. All right. So here's the uh, wood table. Um, again, this is not the final version. I bought a piece of wood, 4x8. Actually, I bought a 4x8 and a 4x4, which would give me about four, four tries to make the table, four or five tries. So this is, you know, revision two and revision one in wood. So let me mount this thing here, and I'll give you a demonstration. And as you can see, there's sling targets now. Here, these aren't hooked up. The pop bumpers are working, except for this one. I obviously need to find one that matches this. It's a stern thumper bumper. If anyone has one. Mm. All right. Uh, upon boot, it'll bring that pop target, uh, drop target up. It does its thing. Okay, I'm ready to go. Okay. Well, what I'm going to demonstrate, along with the you know new board. It won't have art until the final one because that's what's the point. I'm going to demonstrate um, the mode system. And in this one, I'm going to use the drop targets as Titanic mode, even though Titanic mode is, of course, going to use a model ship that I made. And uh, when you enter the mode, basically the mode is just to clear the four drop targets. Uh, every time you hit one, you'll hear uh, some music. And then when you hit the next one, it'll be slightly more intense music and more intense music. So as you go along, you know, psychologically, you're more nervous and it kind of ramps up the pressure and then at the end it has like the reward music. In the final game there's going to be uh, Brittany Daniels from uh, Club Dread right here and around her neck she's going to have the diamond thing from Titanic and you light up the quadrants but for right now I just have this. So yeah let me grab the ball and it starts with some random music from Martini Ranch. Okay, so now we have some music from Titanic. Now the music is a little bit more intense, and also there's that. Those things are fun. These were two. Bam. Yeah! All right, let's hit those last two targets. Old pinball tournament for me. Oh, consistently inconsistent. Alright. Are you kidding me? Whoops. Okay, now the music's really intense. Ooh, I'm scared. Anyway, one of the reasons I'm, you know, doing multiple revisions of tables, if it's straight down in the middle too much, I can revise the table to fix that. Oh, come on! I totally hit that! This game's rigged! Oh, nice. Don't worry, I'll hit it. Oh! I hate you! I created you! Do as I command you! Oh, screw it. So this is obviously the music when you win Titanic mode. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, that's pretty much how it's going to work. And then we'll have Titanic mode, Aliens mode, Twister mode, Weird Science mode, all sorts of modes. And the uh, music that plays will be based off those movies and also the quotes 
like when you drop, drain the ball, we based off whatever movie mode you're in. So, yeah, that's what I've got so far. Uh, time to kill some of the animals. Blame Canada. Now I hit it. <laughs>